In the latest episode of Days of Our Lives, the Johnson family wraps up a meal with a charitable geocaching idea, while Stefan faces scrutiny over his attack on Ava. Xander and Sarah navigate unpacking, revealing quirky items like gnomes and kilts. Meanwhile, Gabby questions Stefan's feelings for her from jail. In a parallel storyline, Teresa Donovan goes missing, worrying those close to her. Brady Black and Alex Kiriakis team up to find her, unraveling a potential relapse into substance abuse. The suspense intensifies as viewers await Teresa's revelation about Alex's true identity. Stay tuned for more drama and surprises in the upcoming episodes of Days of Our Lives. Welcome to Pastime Shows, where the drama unfolds and the stories captivate. Join us as we delve into the intriguing world of Days of Our Lives, revealing the untold tales and hidden truths behind the headlines. Days of Our Lives Wednesday, January 17th Recap, Love Muffin Stories, Stefan's Assault, Kilts and Gnomes, Charity Geocaching. Wednesday, January 17th Days of Our Lives Spoilers and Recap show that the Johnson Family Meal concludes with a charitable geocaching idea. Stefan DiMera is confronted by Harris Michaels regarding his attack on Ava Vitali. Additionally, Everett Johnson and Stephanie Johnson describe how they met in Seattle. The Wednesday, January 17th Days of Our Lives recap reveals that Xander Cook moves things into his apartment. Sarah Horton watches over Xander, telling him where to place the boxes. Xander complains about their weight and expresses curiosity about their contents. Sarah elaborates on Victoria Cook's wardrobe. Sarah admits to getting crazy when shopping for the baby as Xander looks at her. Sarah has a large collection of gnomes in another box. Xander remarks on how, despite their marriage, he could not have known about the gnomes. Gnomes, according to Xander, belong in gardens. Sarah retorts that their garden is non-existent. Stephanie, Steve, and Kayla Johnson are preparing things for the family supper. Although Steve is appreciative that Stephanie and Trip Johnson are in Salem, he wishes Joey Johnson was present. Trip and Stephanie are no longer children, as Stephanie tells her parents. According to Steve, they will always be seen as children. Wendy Shin and Trip show up at the Johnson residence. When Steve cracks a joke, Wendy brings out a cherry pie. Trip adds that the hospital was really busy. Kayla is adamant that this family supper will go on uninterrupted. Is Stephanie flying alone tonight? Trip wonders. Stephanie scowls. Stefan is still in the bistro, having a phone conversation with Gabby Hernandez de Mera. Gabby's leg is still fractured. Gabby feels that something is off. Stefan tells her that he simply misses her and that everything is okay. Why did Harris text her from an unknown number, Ava wants to know. Harris queries Ava's decision to obey a caller who was not identified. If Harris is there to apologize, Ava wants to know. Harris says he needs to know the truth because he's concerned. Harris begs for the truth from Ava. Ava looks guilty and looks into Harris's eye, but she says nothing. Recap of Monday, January 17th, episode of Days of Our Lives Victoria is still asleep when Sarah checks on her. Xander laments the toys and little sewing machines while Sarah is gone. Xander appears to be questioning whether this was a wise decision. A flashback shows Xander giving Sarah the apartment keys. When Sarah returns, she brings Xander back to the present. Xander believes that pizza would be a better option but Sarah offers to reheat the leftovers. Gabby doesn't think Stefan is real. Stefan's voice indicates to Gabby that something is off. According to Stefan, everything is fantastic. Gabby is now perplexed as to why Stefan is so amazing while she is rotting in jail. Like Gabby usually. Gabby is told by Stefan that he is okay, but he is crumbling in her absence. Before hanging up the phone, Stobby flirts a little. When Stefan yells Ava's name, she doesn't respond. Ava still won't be honest with Harris. Harris halts Ava's departure. According to Harris, Ava has internalized something and is unable to return to that life on her own. After pausing, Ava bids you good night and walks away. After grabbing Ava's wrist, Harris begs for her to allow him to assist her. 
Wendy offers to help and remarks that the dinner smells delicious. Kayla will take care of it. The phone rings for Stephanie. It's Everett, asking Stephanie to meet him for a snack at Brady's Pub. Although she begs Everett to join her, Stephanie informs him that she is at a family dinner. The Monday, January 17th Days of Our Lives recap reveals Harris telling Ava he didn't locate any narcotics. He scared the customers, according to Ava, so she had to pay for all of their meals. Ava begs Harris to just stop, gently. Harris claims he's not a cop at the moment. I'm just a man, a man who cares deeply for you, Harris says in clarification. Xander loudly swallows his meal and declares that he feels like a man once more. Closer to a caveman. Xander and Sarah are putting off opening the boxes. Xander begs Sarah to think about packing down all those items since he wants them to feel comfortable there. Regarding the sewing machine, Xander queries. It is vintage. Sarah had assumed she would take up sewing. She is reminded by Xander that she has no free time. It's Sarah who mentions Xander's kilt trunk. They vacillate between gnomes and kilts. Sarah consents to requesting that Maggie Horton Kiriakis store their two belongings. Xander concurs. Everett arrives at the Johnson home. Tripp is asked by Steve how he knows Everett. Tripp informs Steve that he is not responsible for providing him with information regarding Stephanie's boyfriends. Steve acknowledges that he was unaware that she had a boyfriend in Seattle. Everett is introduced to Kayla, Steve, and Wendy by Stephanie. Everett gave Kayla some flowers. In addition to white wine, Everett also picked up some red. Wendy heads over to assist Kayla and Stephanie. Steve says to Everett, I understand you saw my daughter in Seattle, in the meantime. Zara, get some work done on unpacking. Sarah requests that Xander not examine a single box. Xander becomes intrigued. After pausing, Sarah reveals that it is her Xander box. Xander is curious to peek inside. The fact that Sarah preserved souvenirs from their time together astounds Xander as well. Sarah is urged to peek inside by Xander. She concurs. On their first excursion to the beach, there's a hat. Although it wasn't displayed, Sarah had also discovered something of Xander's that vanished. What Ava has been doing lately, according to Harris, isn't her. He just doesn't want to believe it, according to Ava. Harris responds, no, I felt good about Ava before. He continues to see that person. Ava is trying not to cry. As Harris opens his mouth to kiss Ava, Stefan stops him. Steve informs everyone seated at the table that Everett was going to give a story about how he got to know Stephanie. Kayla also wants to hear the tale. Everett claims that it was a cafe. Everett and Stephanie narrate the tale. Everett offered the last muffin to Stephanie for $50. Instead of accepting the money, Stephanie proposed dividing the muffin in half. They later discovered more commonalities, such as a PR firm they both worked for. Steve repeats to everyone seated at the table his ignorance of Stephanie's boyfriend. Steve seemed to be having a lot of difficulty adjusting to not knowing every man in Stephanie's life. Stephanie covers with grace. Steve queries them about whether or not they are reunited. Stephanie seems embarrassed. The Monday, January 17th Days of Our Lives recap reveals that Zara finds their wedding picture. Fearing for her life, Sarah quickly packs everything and murmurs that she will store it all. Zara makes eye contact. Stefan tells Ava that he must get her inside because the investigator has left them with a huge mess to clean up. Harris claims that was acceptable. Stefan maintains that Harris had a personal grudge against him. Stefan snatches Ava and leaves, telling her to get in touch with his attorney if he has any more questions. Everett informs everyone that their relationship is over. Stephanie has said unequivocally that her current desires are friendship. If Everett wants more, Steve asks. Everett says he's appreciative of the friendship. Tripp suggests shifting the topic. Everyone stops and looks, shocked by the news that Tripp and Wendy have. 
Xander soothes his weary arms and accuses the gnomes of Sarah. Sarah works out the kink by massaging him. Sarah informs him that they will need to alternate. Xander provides guidelines for housekeeping and cooking. If Xander goes to the grocery store, Sarah will do his laundry, including his underwear. When Xander says, he puts the toilet seat down now, Sarah's mouth drops. The two kissed passionately. Ava is roughly thrown into the restaurant by Stefan. He's a freaking Neanderthal, according to Ava. It bothers Ava to be pulled around. Before Ava spoke, Stefan indicated he had to take care of something. Reportedly, Ava wasn't. Stefan believes that she was. Ava is not interested in being arrested or going to jail. Then Harris enters. Stefan has had enough. Harris claims to be an officer of the law and that he is there to warn Stefan about the recent spate of crimes in the area and the fact that he left his back door unsecured. With a mocking smile, Stefan thanks you and quickly leaves. Harris continues, saying he is also coming to see how Ava is doing since he witnessed Stefan assaulting her. Harris queries Ava about filing a police report. Stefan finds this to be absurd. Ava is assured by Harris that he can keep her safe. Stefan snatches Ava out of nowhere, dips her, and gives her a passionate kiss. Everyone is staring at their phones because of Trip. Steve queries what they are examining. It's a scavenger quest that uses a phone app. Geocaching explained by Wendy. Steve queries the goal. Trip advises having fun. Wendy continues by saying that it's an outdoor adventure. Stephanie has a suggestion for a charitable use of geocaching. Stephanie queries Everett over its sponsorship by The Spectator. Kayla points out that the hospital might gain as well. Everyone is becoming really animated. Wendy consents to take care of the tech. Because he is so familiar with the town, Steve will conceal the things. Stephanie promises to call Paulina Price first thing in the morning. They only have to decide on a time. Trip recommends February 14th. It's also the anniversary of Steve and Kayla's marriage. Trip and Wendy have to go because he has an early shift. Trip and Wendy are offered leftovers by Steve. Kayla tells Trip to take care of Wendy since she truly adores her. Paulina is causing Kayla concern. Kayla assures Trip that Paulina will take care of all that is on her plate. However, Kayla seemed to be persuading herself more than Trip. Trip mentions Holly. According to Kayla, she is still unresponsive to touch, light, or sound. Wendy and Steve discuss Trip. Steve already feels a great deal of affection for Wendy. Steve is overjoyed to learn that Wendy also has feelings for Trip. Stephanie is informed by Everett that he must depart. Stephanie informs him that he prefers the dark. Stephanie also recalls Everett's persistent sleep problems. According to Everett, the coma resolved the issue. For the treasure search, Everett proposes that they form a team. Stephanie describes how she and Everett turned the community completely upside down. Sarah breaks up the kiss. Sarah claims they ought not to. Sarah is opposed to history being repeated. Xander wants to avoid making any mistakes. They are equally in favor of Victoria having a secure and caring household. In honor of Victoria. Sarah and Xander give it a shake. Harris says that Stefan is acknowledging that he cheated on his jailed wife. Stefan claims that Ava is fine with it. Though she still can't quite speak, Ava says, Uh... No. Ava claims that they are powerless to stop it. Life is too short not to enjoy it, according to Ava. Harris is unsure about whom to trust. Harris claims that they are worthy of one another. Harris says he hopes Ava isn't in jail when he sees her again. Following Harris's departure, Ava pushes Stefan aside. Ava is reminded by Stefan that Harris only talks. Ava is incensed that Stefan had to give her such a strong kiss. As Stefan puts it, it was a show. 
Stefan claims that the kiss was inadvertent and that Ava is aware of his intense love for his wife. He should not flatter himself, Ava advises. However, it was overkill. Stefan maintains that he needed to make it plausible. Harris, according to Stefan, is not Ava's friend. Stefan threatens to bury them if they approach Harris. Ava cries with annoyance as Stefan leaves. Ava then grabs a bottle and a tumbler of alcohol. Ava chooses not to drink the alcohol through a glass, instead downing it directly from the bottle. Post your ideas in the space provided for comments below. Don't forget to keep watching to see what occurs next. Spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Teresa Donovan disappears. According to teasers on Days of Our Lives, Teresa Donovan is missing. Brady Black and Alex Kiriakis further team up in an attempt to locate her. What sort of mischief is she going to commit? This is everything we currently know about the NBC Peacock Sudzer. According to spoilers on Days of Our Lives, Teresa Donovan's week gets worse. She started by bidding her son Tate Black farewell as he left for a youth treatment facility. Teresa is obviously relieved that her son is no longer incarcerated as an adult. But she won't have access to him for at least a month. Furthermore, spoilers for Days of Our Lives indicate that someone slips off the wagon. Will Teresa Donovan take drugs or alcohol to dull her agony again? She is certain that neither her son nor Holly Jonas took any drugs. However, Teresa worries that she might have failed in her role as Tate's mother and returned to substance abuse. According to teasers on Days of Our Lives, Teresa disappears during the next few days. Does she go out on the town late at night? Or has she experienced a more sinister event? Teresa is still employed by Constantine Meliunis, after all. Did he take any action against her? Soon, find out what becomes of Teresa. Days in Our Lives spoilers, Brady Black and Alex Kiriakis save Teresa. According to spoilers on Days of Our Lives, Brady Black and Alex Kiriakis are concerned about Teresa. Moreover, she rarely disappears without leaving a note about her whereabouts. She's also a lot stressed out. Her current partner and ex are aware of this. According to teasers for Days of Our Lives, Brady and Alex are looking for Teresa Donovan. But how long will it take to track her down? She might be anywhere, after all. She could actually walk out of town and never look back if she's so desired. After being warned not to, did she follow Tate's police transport vehicle? She doesn't venture very far, though. According to teasers on Days of Our Lives, Brady and Alex locate the missing woman. She can also be in rough shape. According to sources, the men take care of Teresa Donovan. Is she intoxicated, high, or hurt? This week, watch the Peacock exclusive to find out. Days in Our Lives spoilers, will the real story come to light? Fans of Days of Our Lives are curious as to when Teresa will reveal Alex Kiriaki's true identity. She also understands that he isn't the son of the late Victor Kiriaki's. Oh no. That's Xander Cook, for sure. But the blonde and her accomplice altered the previous letter and hurried to hide their gold-digging activities. But now that Tate is gone, she might have second thoughts and tell Alex the truth. Will her most recent antics force her to tell him everything? He could even end their relationship over it. That is, assuming they don't split up before their impending kiss with Brady Black. This week, watch Days of Our Lives to find out what happens to Teresa Donovan and what follows. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Days of Our Lives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.